My name is Sasha, and I'm actually the one that tweets stuff out. I'm here to introduce Dr. and Jackery Damages. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that for so many months now, a little girl is staring down at a bull on Wall Street. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The bull? Have you seen it? Yes. Come rain, come sunshine. She's there. Yes. Now, this is real. It was a new addition to Wall Street, but it has become a symbol of Americans staring down huh. at their president, oh. at Donald Trump, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and the big business behind yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> now, the man Trump mm. last week sent American warship. You mean the president? The president, yeah, uh -huh. to the wrong sea. <laughs> And he was bragging about that on TV and on Twitter, bragging. Uh, oh, yeah, listen to him. I don't want to talk about it. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful. Uh, While he was saying that the ship was heading to North Korea, mm -hmm. the aircraft carrier, we found out that it was going the wrong direction. Uh, 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 it was actually going to Australia, uh, where they were going for a joint exercise, military exercise. Uh, I tell you, I tell you. The whole country, America, is going the wrong direction. Mm. But that has not stopped our man, Donald Trump, from going about tweeting nonsense, tweeting away. Nonsense. Nonsense after, no nonsense after nonsense. Mm. Oh, oh, I said it. I said it. I've been saying In fact, I've been saying it all this while, but nobody cared. Yes. Now people are paying attention. Yes, now, I used to think that Trump is full of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, then, but then I was introduced to Davido and his brother, and they were like, hey, do, you, do you know them? I know. Yeah, Davido. I didn't know. I didn't. Davido. I didn't know. I didn't know. Is that his music? Oh, oh, yeah. yes. oh yes. Oh yes. He is the child of a uh, Nigerian billionaire, uh, yes, Adeleke. Yes, Adeleke. Yes, yes. You know the father. Davido's father is so rich that some Nigerians are saying that he offered um, the gods the brains of his boys for dollars. Did you hear that story? Mm -hmm. Of course, as a doctor in good standing. I dismiss that story as nonsense, ignorant talk by ignorant people. And then I saw this Instagram post by the video's uh, brother, Adewale. Did you see that? Yes, I saw that. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe this? That my dog eats better than some of you. You know, yep, that's what he said. He wrote this to his followers that his dog eats better. That, I mean, I mean, I don't care. I don't care what led to that. No amount of provocation we make you compare your dog food mm. with what your followers are eating. Yes, sir. I mean, if it's your baby mama, I will understand. <laughs> mm. But your followers, no. You know, it doesn't show any sophistication at all. Yes. Rich people don't demean their dogs like yes, that. They don't. They don't. The rich don't. people, like this woman uh, from New York City, they leave millions of dollars for their dogs. That's what yes, rich yes, people do. Money. Yeah, yeah. They, no, not to eat, no, for, for the dog to be taken care of when they die. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they put the dog in the well. That's what rich people do. Not comparing their food with the food that your followers are eating. <laughs> now, now, just when I thought that it was Davido's uh, brother that had an exaggerated sense of importance, mm. Davido himself, in the same week, yeah. blasted one of his followers <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, the, 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 listen. He said, you fool, my unborn daughter's future is brighter than your own. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know. Apparently, the knucklehead uh, Davido has not heard that Donald Trump and that small boy who is governing uh, North Korea, that they are planning to begin World War III on mm. May 13th. Do you know that? Yes, sir. May 13th, it's around the corner. I don't know how much Davido's father is worth in billions of dollars. But, but to put it in perspective, just last weekend, mm -hmm. that movie, Fast and Furious, mm. made $532.5 million <laughs> in three days. Yes. In three days. Yes, sir. Now, if that doesn't humble you, and the millions that you feel that you have made, mm -hmm. then you must be a goat. Yeah. Uh, 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 even, even <laughs> one step below a goat. <laughs> now, if you are a musician mm -hmm. and you look at the before and after image of Magic Fashek mm -hmm. and it doesn't humble you, mm -hmm. then, then you must be a goat. <laughs> or one step below a goat. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking about goats. goats. Talking about goats in Zimbabwe, it's now okay to pay your school fees with goats. What? It's okay, it's okay. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, there is no money in the country, so it's understandable why the policy was put in place. Yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. 
such a such country. such a wonderful country, Zimbabwe. You know, <laughs> such a complete collapse yes. under one man's rule. Yes. How does he continue? How 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 does one man continue exactly. to insist on remaining in power and oh. leader of a country under that condition? When do you when when do you tell yourself, okay, I've tried. Let me let me just get let me just leave for anybody somebody else to try. Anyway, anyway, as part of the goat for school fees uh, policy, you will get full scholarship if you bring the biggest goat of them all. Really? Robert Mugabe. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I didn't make I, I didn't make it up. I'm, I'm just telling you. No. I tried, but I couldn't find a, a very good segue from goat to Buhari. There, there's not, there's not. But after wasting precious time, President Mohamed Buhari finally suspended the secretary to the federal government of Nigeria. Mr. Bashir Lawa. You know him? You remember him? Mm -hmm. He was the man who gave himself a 250 million contract hey! to cut grasses around hey! IDP camps. 250 million. While, while, while thousands of these I people are surviving with less than $1 a day. Eating food that the former vice president, you know him, Atiku Abu Bakr, mm. could not even pretend that it was eatable. Hey! Just for TV, he couldn't. He, the man couldn't. He, he couldn't. Look at his face. Look at his face. Now, we complained months after months that Lawa must go, that he was a disgrace to Buhari's fight against corruption. But, but Buhari did not care. He didn't listen to us. Even the corrupt Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, they came out to say that Lawa is a, an embarrassment, that the man was thinking. Oh, yeah, the senators, even Dino, Dino came out to say the man was like thinking, <laughs> like a goat. <laughs> Still, Buhari ignored everyone. Imagine how horrible Lawa must think for the Senate of Nigeria to notice. Exactly. Imagine that. This Buhari self, you know, he never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Yes. Yes. Sasha, Sasha. Tweet, tweet that one out. Yes. He never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Yes, yes. That's deep. Yeah, it's deep. Imagine what would have happened if he had acted at the proper time. Yes. You know? That's why our forefathers said that he was penis shy. What? <laughs> no, no, no. When, no, the lesson, when our forefathers say one thing, they mean another thing. They don't mean that in the other room that he was. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the other room. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> No, no, it has nothing to do with that one, you know. Now, the same thing happened with the director general of the Nigerian Intelligence Agency. I mean, they called that intelligence. I thought the man was intelligent. You don't, don't you have to be intelligent to be, anyway, forget about it. <laughs> the whole story of almost $50 million found in that apartment in Ikoi boiled down to the director general and his wife. They were just moving money around in Ghana must go bad. Ghana must go bad, you know. I thought they were intelligent people. For those who do not know, the NIA, in the build up to the 2015 general election, mm -hmm. received 289 million Yay! through Desi and Alice in Madeke. You know her? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just two. And their budget normally is 160 million dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's more than their budget, two more, twice more. <laughs> I bet those are, are some of the money that we now see. They are trying to bring it home to the director's apartment. Yes. That's it. That's what it's going on. Leftovers. So Buhari suspended the director of NIA. Mm. Ayodele, okay. You know the guy. You know? And guess what he did? He started crying and begging. <laughs> I, I thought the man is intelligent. Yeah. Eh? But when Buhari suspended the secretary of the federal government, Lawa, you know what he did? Yes. Look at the picture. <laughs> He, he brought out his tongue. He was like, mm -ta. Mm -ta. <laughs> The man didn't care. It took Buhari more than a week before he acted. Why? I don't understand. Why? I don't think this man, Buhari, knows that the 70% of people he governs, that they are under 30 years of age. And they are impatient. They, listen to one of them. If they can just do mass barrier for all our leaders <laughs> and let we the youth start ruling, you will see that everything will go the way it should go. Our leaders are our problem. I'm telling you, they can come and arrest me. If they, if they should kill me, thousand people like me will still stand in this country. So that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that should worry Buhari and his fellow travelers. Yes, no, all of them who are in charge of Nigeria, they should be worried. Mm. If they have not gotten the hint, maybe what happened in Katsina State last week should, should worry them too. Yes, do, you, do you remember what happened? 
Yes. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. When protesters chased away their senator yes. Yes. from a political yes. event, you know, remember? Yes. Watch them. No, no, this is what I'm telling you. The final showdown is not far away. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be televised. Yes, yes, yes. I guarantee that. Especially with men like this ready to take action. Time is coming. Where you go, enter all those big man, you go sit there for root. Like this. Just come down. You go slaughter them. I'm telling you, time is coming. All those women, they're not going to they're not gonna move and sing it. You just come down, slaughter them. Go look at Veto. Yeah, yeah, let me tell, let me tell you. Every day is for the thief. But one day is for the owner of the votes. <laughs> owner of the votes. Talking about thieves, a former Nigerian journalist and one time news agency of Nigeria's correspondent in America, Abdullahi Shaibu. That That's not your friend. You know, there's some reporters say who know him here. Yeah. Was arrested for robbing a bank in New York City. The, the story baffled me, you know? He did not rob banks in Queens or Brooklyn or the Bronx, like where they live. Where this one lives, or Tomato Just, where Tomato Just lives. He went to Manhattan, near the United Nations, where he once walked. Can you imagine that? The good book was right. My people perish for lack of knowledge. America loves its money. That is why they wrote on the money, in God we trust. You can't catch America putting God in anything else. You can kill someone at the Central Park in New York City and get away with it. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? Okay, okay, that's just for Donald Trump. <laughs> but, but if you kill someone in New York City, you'll get four years in prison, just four years. But if you rob a bank, it is 24 years. So what got into Abdullahi? What happened to him? And he was robbing banks. No, no, he was robbing banks during his lunch hour. Once I had that, I threw my hands up in the air. You know, if he robbed banks during his lunch hour, what did he do at night during dinner? What, what? You know, it's a sad story, you know, on so many levels. How much did he even get from robbing these banks? Four banks. He only got $10,000. It's, it's not even enough to pay two months of rent in Manhattan. It's not enough. Now, if the man had stayed in Nigeria, you know, he could have become a senator or a member of the House of Rep, you know? And he will safely rob the Nigerian people of a cool million dollars yeah. each year without sweating. Without sweating. They just bring it to him. Or, or, or better still, he could have been a cleaner at uh, Saraki's home. You know, and he will have himself with some millions and nobody will question him. No, no well, who cares? You know? Now, for those of you who are interested in robbing a bank in America, this is how, no, no, this is how you can do it very successfully, you know? No, let me, let me, let me tell you. This is, this is, let me tell you because we, we study this in school. This is what you should do. Once you rob the bank, you don't even need a gun. Just go there and say, I want some money. They will give you the money. And then you go home and wait for the police. I get, I, get, I get disappointed when people start running away thinking they won't catch you. They will catch you. The proper way to do it, do it and then wait for the police. When they come, say, it's me. <laughs> because they will catch you. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, he's been in America for how long? He didn't know that this is the proper way to do rubber bank. No, nonsense. 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 <laughs> now, now, another Nigerian, Kelechi Declan James, uh -huh. duped Americans of over five million dollars hey! in New York City. Oh, five. Hey! This is this is this is this this is this is more like it. I know. Too much to just know. This is more like it. Now, this is, this is more like a, they, they were hanging out all those nightclubs. Now, the FBI declared the man wanted. Guess how much the FBI is offering as a reward for information? How much No, $1,000. I don't, I don't get it. Obviously, the FBI, they've not been following the news from Nigeria. You know, they've not been following Nigerian news. If they know, if they know that, that millions of dollars are in homes in Nigeria hidden, they, will no, they wouldn't have insulted Nigerians this way. Can you imagine a reward of $1,000? Can someone tell these FBI people that in Nigeria, our whistleblowers, they walk away with 5%, 5% of the loot. So, okay, so 5% of 5 million is, um, you know, I, I have, I'm not good at arithmetic. No, no, you know what? If you can calculate this without a calculator, you should be working for Goldman Sachs. You should quit that your job, Annie. Can you? 
<laughs> now, now, 500,000. Yes. Wow. That's the kind of FBI, FBI. That's, that's, if you put that on the table, then Nigerians will call you. Nigerians will call you. I'm telling you, you know. But <laughs> they can't even agree. You see? And these are people. Let me, let me, hey, hey, let me tell you, people at home, these are people who they failed Wayek and they ran to America to go to school. All the people you are seeing, they could not agree. 5% of 5 million, they don't know. Now, some good news, some good news. Abuja Airport has reopened. Hey. Oh, yeah. Woo. Quite unlike other APC promises. This uh -huh. one was fulfilled and on time. Hey, congrats. Yeah, exactly six weeks after it was closed mm. for repairs. Mm. Immediately, the news came out. Yeah. The governor of River State, you know him, Governor Wicked. Yes, he came out, doctor. <laughs> He came out and claimed that the glory belonged to the River State government. What? Oh, yeah. People were asking why, why, why they, has the man started smoking? <laughs> it must be, there must be something going on. He, he said he prayed. I'm like, if that is the case, why don't you pray, pray for electricity to be improved? You know, why do you only claim wrestling? Okay, let me not explain it. <laughs> Let me explain it. Now, in another good story, good news, you know, people say we don't give any good news. This is good news. Whistleblowers have brought in 73 billion into the accounts of the federal government of Nigeria. And that's in just four, four months. Four months. So this is what I'm telling you, Nigerians. Forget about searching for oil, oil blocks or anything like that, my friends. The whistle is the next big thing. Get, get your own whistle and blow away. And there is a school now where they teach people how to blow whistle. No, I'm not making it up. There's my friend. My friend set up a school. Oh, my friend. Yeah, you, you, you have to. You have to do something. Instead of coming to America to rob a bank, you get the whistle. Oh, come on. And blow. That's it. Now, now, wait, wait. Five. Wait, wait, wait. Five percent of uh, seventy-three billion is how much? Um, this one nobody can get it here. <laughs> That's why they are in America. They couldn't get. They couldn't pass jam. You know, but let me tell you, because I'm, I'm a doctor, it's 3.65 billion. Woo! Will you make it working in, in, in your lifetime in, yes, in, yes, in, in yes. As Sahara? No, forget about Sahara. Crossing. What about you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, my friends, my friends, it's time to go home and salvage it together. Mm. Whatever happened to that Buhari thing, we must stay here and salvage it. Yes. <laughs> All of this, they don't want to hear that. They, because they don't, they don't want to salvage anything. They run away. All of them. Anyway, now this is an update on a story we told you last week. Yes. Apostle Suleiman. <laughs> it's our favorite story. You know, we are not letting off. No, not until the man confesses. No, no, he's the top pastor in Nigeria. We can't, we can't, you know, we have to put him in the news. We have to keep talking about him until someone else comes up with something better. So, so, Stephanie, you know, you remember her? Stephanie has gone back to Canada. No, no, she went back. She went back. Yeah. No, no, nobody, nobody touched her. She did not go there to hide. No. You remember that the great apostle said that the Canadian immigration officers, yeah. that they were collecting her videos and that she would be deported. No, nothing like that. Nothing like that happened. Oh, really? Instead of hiding, Stephanie just filed a lawsuit hey. against the apostle. Can you imagine that? The great apostle. She's demanding, she's demanding, listen to this figure. This is the kind of money we're talking about. Not stealing robbing banks. She's demanding $5 million in damages. I mean, I mean, with, with this, with this one, she will buy Sahara reporters. <laughs> Five million dollars. Which one? She said, or US? no, no. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> it's still dollar. <laughs> it's better. It, it's better than naira. <laughs> anyway, she said the damages were as a result of breach of trust, breach of fiduciary relations, breach of contracts, negligence. Defamation, uh -huh. poisoning, uh -huh. intentional and negligent infliction of emotional stress. Hey! Forcible hey! confinement. Hey! Multiple hey! instances hey! of battery. Hey! False hey! imprisonment. Hey! Fraud. Hey! Assault. Hey! Sexual assault. Hey! Sexual harassment. Hey! And malicious prosecution. The apostle is finished. No. The lawsuit, the lawsuit also restrained Apostle Suleiman mm. from contacting and communicating yes. directly or indirectly oh, yeah. with Stephanie in Canada or anywhere else. Hey, 
is restraining Apostle Suleiman from being at a distance of at least 500 meters from Stephanie. Hey, whoa. No, that one, I don't believe in that one. You know, you know, if you said that to the apostle, don't go near the Daniel Okereke. Aha! That one, that one, that one will hurt me too, you know. That one, he will feel the pain, but, but Stephanie, no. no. Look for a presentable pet. not this style. Come on, come on. Abba! Come on, come on, someone more present, come on. Anyway, so Apostle Suleiman has 40 days to answer the charges. Mm. If he doesn't answer the charges, the court will, in Canada, will rule against him. Yeah. As he stands now, let me tell you, let me tell you, in 40 days, if Apostle Suleiman goes to Canada, he may end up in prison. Oh, oh they, they'll pick him up, yeah. yeah. But, but don't worry, if Canadian immigration keeps uh, Suleiman in prison for one day, this this is what will happen. If I spend one day with the security operatives, the damage that will happen in Nigeria will take one year to repair. If I spend one day in this country alone, I have over half a million people, and their reactions already. If I spend one day, the damage that will happen in Nigeria will take one year to repair. <laughs> I know, I know. Canada will be destroyed entirely. Let me tell you, this story will continue. We will keep updating you, you know? It's, we enjoy it, and, and I'm sure the apostle enjoys it. He doesn't watch any of the videos, but he, he, he doesn't watch any of the videos. <laughs>
That's it. That's it. Don't start making it as if it's a big deal. Let them bury it wherever. The ghost will show us the way. Nonsense. Nigerians run abroad for many old jobs, mm. abandoning multi-million dollar opportunities at home. Yes. I don't know who said this, but 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 what? Right. How can it be many old jobs when we bring that in thirty-four point eight billion dollars? That's what we. That's remittance. That's the money we send home to to from Nigeria abroad. How can that be many old jobs? Mm. Uh, what do you do here in America? <laughs> I mean, I mean, whether you're cleaning toilets in America, it's, it's honorable job. It's the security. It's, it's, yeah, and you get paid at the end of the month, not like some reporters There's who don't get... There's dignity in level. There's dignity in level. Not like this guy. What's the name of that guy? Abdullahi, who was not paid by a news agency of Nigeria for one year. Mm. We know. We just don't think it's an excuse to rob a bank, you know? Nigerian economy out of recession. Yeah. Did you hear that? World Bank, they are saying that it's out of recession. Yeah, people, you see, yes. they, if it's good news, they don't hear it. Yes. <laughs> now, this is this is what I'm saying. Until I talk to market women, I'm not, I don't believe all yes, these people. No. I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. What, what, what do they know? I have to, the market women will tell me yes, when there's exactly. no recession. Nonsense. The World Bank, they they'll be in Washington and tell us that yeah. we're out of recession. No, oh, this is wonderful. This is from this is from Lai, oh, Lai Mohammed again. Lai he said he said that Nigeria is too beautiful to disintegrate. Mm. I said, yeah, that's true. But it's true. Nigeria is beautiful from northwest, everything. But but at the same time, you know, Majek Fashek is too talented mm. to be homeless. Yeah. I mean, you see, you see the thing. It doesn't. Yeah. It, it could happen. It could happen. You see what I did here? It, it, people thought I was going, and then I went the other way. <laughs> now, now, this is for you, my man. You know, I gave you one. Every week. Ah, thank you. I met Christ where I went to buy Indian hemp, mm. says Ayewa, the, the old musician. Yeah. He's actually a gospel singer, you know. <laughs> I know. To his credit, he tried to take a selfie with Christ, and then he fell into the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have, I have my sources now, my reporters now. That was when he knew that he had to do something about his life. Mm. If you are trying to tell a selfie with Christ that you already met and you fall into the gutter, then something is wrong. I almost fall now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow, Tomato Jazz, how are you today? I am okay. Uh, just okay, you know. Uh, your hair. <laughs> what about my no, hair? No, no, no. Do you have a problem this, with this natural? Is, hair? This is this. Mama no, this is wonderful. Mama Africa, Africa. 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 You know. That is how Serena Williams, after doing her hair like this, <laughs> the, ne the next thing we know is she that she got herself a white smile. We know the next thing we and know. So much just I don't know. You know, no, maybe you have. What are you, you trying to say? Maybe you have news for us at the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, do we have emails today? Maybe I do. Do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. I just bought this uniform. I don't want to buy another one. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see how they do Let's see All how right. Them. Our first email is from Usman. Usman. In Victoria, South Africa. Yeah, Usman. That's my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He's going he to writes. school there, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. My name is Usman. Yeah, I, I work with ABU Zaria. Ah, wait, wait. Can he tell us about this? Uh, you know? Okay, let's, let's we'll go. We'll see. Go. Let's go. And I'm on a study leave oh. at the University of Pretoria, South Africa. Mm, that's mm -hmm. good. It has been a norm that after securing admission, mm. we are allowed by our universities to start our programs pending the disbursement of funds by TED Fund. Perfect. And in which case, mm. we will be nominated and funded to settle our debts often TED fund disbursed lately. <clears throat> the new TED fund boss, yeah. out of nowhere, Jesus. just cancelled the agreement eh? and even came up with a list of accredited universities without reasonable explanation. Hey. Almost 200 sure. of us are stranded without hope of getting funds. We need your publicity, please. We have a WhatsApp group which are with a comprehensive list of the affected. Hey. Please, we need your help. You wow. should share this. Usman, Usman, thank you so much. We receive this kind of e emails from mm. people, students all over the world, who wow. the government of Nigeria and some agencies will send abroad, say, go and study. And then they won't provide for anything for them. No wow. money, nothing for upkeeps, nothing. Uh -huh. And they get stranded. And mm. life is hard as it is abroad. 
because over here we don't find Gary. Gary is not free. Kunu is not here. It's hard. People abroad. have to rob banks. People, exactly. That's why people rob banks. <laughs> why will Why will the Nigerian government do this? Uh -huh. do, you, do you want more of our people, students, to be struggling to the point that they might snap and rob banks? Yes, ma'am. Listen, listen. We get. We, I think we have to start a a, a hall of shame. Mm. Maybe we'll be make shaming these people, all these we agencies should. and all Why these not? governors who send our students abroad in Turkey, in Malaysia, everywhere. People write us and say we are stuck. The government is not bringing our money. Hmm. Are you, are you a student? That that intern is, is intern. That means he's a student. <laughs> I think. Are you on scholarship here? Sure. Do they pay your money? I mean, this is the final <laughs> one. I mean, from from next week. Where is our intern? Take note of this. From next week, we will make... We'll Hall start. of shame. Hall of shame. Yes. Yeah. People like you. Only in Nigeria. I, and we may send our crack reporters. And you know, it's not a good thing when they it's come to your state. It's not good, though. It's not good when they come to your state. But we are coming. Stay anyway, tuned. Usman, thank you very much. <laughs> I know they are watching. And if they don't act, let, write us again. Let's let's do something. Hmm. Next. Our second email is from Saifu Wai. Hmm. Abdul Kadar. Abdul, yeah. I, think I hope I, I'm I, saying that I right, think too. I, know, I think, yeah. You should learn how to pronounce these names, you know. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And yeah. he writes. Yes. Hello, doctor. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Yeah. Please, do you have a family? Uh-uh. It's what? looking as if you are not liked by women or... Uh -uh. That, that is his that email. That's it. Uh, look here. Look at my friend. Look at uh, my friend. My, uh, uh, forget what is written on the train and enter the train. Uh -huh. You know, women, they love me. <laughs> Women love me. Sounds good. Yeah. Just because they don't come out yeah, and, you and they don't come out and proclaim that they doesn't mean that they don't like me. You know, in private they will tell you that you know, they know. Are you a yeah, They know. Of course, I'm coming to Aisha. They know. I'm coming to Aisha and other people. They know that mm. I'm fighting for them. Mm. They are the people I'm fighting for. Because because if we get the likes of Apostle Suleiman, mm. Bill Cosby, and Dino to behave, mm -hmm. that will benefit some women down the road. Ah, and, yeah, and Bill. Talk, talk. You know, they, they know. I, I, and I have Aisha, my Aisha. It's, she writes. It's just that we don't. Ah, she's we, married. It's, when she's, last did you hear from her? She's married now, so we don't make it public. You know? Ah, <laughs> now, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Now, here's my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, Money Matters, mm. by uh, Warren Buffett. You know the guy, you know the guy, that billionaire. And he says, if you don't find a way to make money mm. while you sleep, you will walk until you die. Hey! I say you will walk until you hey! die. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's deep, That's you know? No? Mm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You hear yourself. <laughs> so, you see, you see. When you are when you are sleeping, you will be making money. Mm -hmm. How is that gonna happen for you? <laughs> Doctor, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. worry. You have you plans. You have plans. Mm -hmm. So, are you reading the comments they make about you on uh, on uh, YouTube? Do you do you care? You know, usually I don't care. Yeah. But this one that tried to come for me, eh? <laughs> Abdullahi. That's well, your name. You know the name, so you've been reading. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you, you Abdullahi. Eh? I didn't know you've been reading. Okay, he wow. said something about oh, where, what, what does what, what does she know about Nigeria? Know about Nigeria? Yeah, yeah. How far where is your country? Wrong? Wait, wait. How far is your country from Nigeria? By the way, how far is it from Nigeria? Where, where? Abdul Karim. I mean, Abdukarim. you know, you know. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Abdul Karim. How all, many times all, did I say your name? All you Africans okay. like you who are pretending you are not from Africa. Trump is here. People are going home. Yeah, I love People Africa. are going home. Make eh? sure you remember where you come from and the direction to so your house. So what are you trying to no, say? No, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking, about, you? I'm talking about the guy that was laughing there. <laughs> no, it's I not about you. you. You are, you are well situated. You know, you are, you, are, you have no problem. <laughs> Doctor. Doctor. Please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this. Otherwise, there won't be. You know, things are hard. Watch, watch more. I, in fact, there's somewhere I'm cooking a goose. Subscri also, subscribe to the Sahara YouTube account. What is the name of the account again? Anyway, subscribe. Whatever they say, subscribe. Click on it. Please. <laughs> For me. For me. Nice. Thank you.